Coming up next week at the Strasbourg Plenary, TTIP, a Mongolian presidential visit, relations with Russia and FIFA corruption. Welcome to the agenda. For as many advantages, there have been as many disadvantages, but the TTIP merry-go-round isn't over yet. With the ink barely dry in last week's Trade Committee report, political families are suiting and booting up to do battle again. And the culprit behind the kerfuffle, the Investor State Dispute Mechanism, or ISDS. The Socialists will table an amendment to exclude ISDS from TTIP, a move that would no doubt tickle the fancy of the Greens, who would catcall the Socialists for doing a dirty deal on ISDS last week. But the biggest group in the House, the European People's Party, are in favour of the text adopted by the Trade Committee. Will they then vote against an amended text? And don't forget that this is most likely the roll call vote, meaning the public will be able to see how each and every MEP votes. Could that have an impact? Keep your eyes peeled, it's going to be a firecracker on Wednesday. It took an almighty push, but the reign of Seb Blatter as a president of FIFA is finally at an end. He was forced to resign following a corruption scandal engulfing the world football body, despite saying he's seen and heard no evil. The FBI investigation, which led to multiple arrests, has finally emboldened the EU to think about taking action to promote solid change and root out corruption in football. At the plenary, representatives from the Commission and Member States will discuss possible avenues forward with MEPs on Wednesday. Tuesday sees a presidential address. From which country? Mongolia. Europe's been developing its relations with Mongolia for a quarter of a century. Most likely, the president will discuss deepening economic and political ties with the EU to loosen the grip of Russia and China. Find out what Sasiagin Ilbeg Dorch has to say when he addresses MEPs on Tuesday. Europe's relations with Russia are at an all-time low. Could a Russian blacklist lead to more sanctions for Russia? 89 politicians and military officials, including the former UK Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg, were banned from entering Russia. This all comes on the eve of the G7 summit, previously called the G8 summit, when Russia had a place at the table. What should Europe do next with its neighbour? Follow the debate on Wednesday with a vote on Thursday. We've probably all got a funny story or two to tell when it comes to gathering around the table for a family dinner. But if you've ever wondered what a family dinner looks like in Ecuador, Myanmar or Jordan, get yourself down to the Parliamentarium for a photo exhibition by the World Food Programme. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.